I ask you to put the code in. I don't see the code in. Where'd you put the code in? This could be a real conversation. Building a site without writing code is nice, but what about when you want to use code to do some advanced stuff, like add a tracking code or a custom tweak to a widget? Elementor Pro version 3.1 now offers a new way to add custom code to your sites. We also included performance enhancements, a brand new code highlight widget, and an upgrade to the animated headline widget. Let's go over what's new. Adding custom code is something many of you requested. Use it to implement various marketing services, such as pixels, heat maps, event tracking, and meta tags. You're going to love managing all that custom code from one place. Speaking of code, one of the experiments included in this version is improved asset loading for pro widgets. JavaScript asset loading focuses on optimizing site speed by only loading the widgets needed on the page. Keep in mind, this is still an experiment so be sure to test it in a safe environment. Still in the coding realm, meet the code highlight widget. Are you a dev or web design blogger? Now you'll be able to showcase your code in a readable way and present it in the correct syntax highlight. Switch between six different design themes for over 200 languages, such as JavaScript, CSS, and emoji code. Emoji code? Hope put that in! your readers will be able to copy your code with a single click. In addition to launching new features, we're always keen on improving existing ones. One of our popular design features is animated headlines. We've added timing options to allow you to control the animation duration and delay between each animation loop. We also added a loop option that enables you to freeze the animation when it finishes the loop. Enhance your customization options, allowing you to control your typing effects, and added dynamic tags to your headlines, so the text dynamically changes according to the page being viewed. Elementor Pro version 3.1 offers custom code, performance enhancements, new code highlight widget, animated headline improvements, and much more. Our team prepared in-depth tutorials to help you get familiar with these new features. Be sure to check it out. Until next time, this is Ben from Elementor.